Hey there, come on in. Are you ready to have some fun today? Join us, let's jump in. One, two, three, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. We'll learn a lot today. Let's go! Hi, my friends. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. It's me, Mr. Pete. <laughs> I am so excited to be with you today because today we are celebrating our very own planet Earth. <laughs> Earth Day is a very special day of the year. On April 22nd, people celebrate Earth Day to show how much they care about keeping our planet healthy, clean, and protected. The reason this day is important is because it helps us to focus on ways to help protect plants and animals and ourselves. So, are you ready to learn all about Earth Day? You are? Great! Then, on the count of three, let's say, let's go! Ready? One, two, three! Let's go! Yeah! Earth is one of the eight planets that orbits or travels around the sun in our solar system. It is about 4.6 billion years old and is the third planet away from the sun. Although there are other planets, Earth is the only one in our solar system that has living things on it. This is possible because Earth has water and oxygen, and it doesn't get too hot or too cold. <laughs> the land covers about 30% of the Earth's surface, and the other 70% is covered by water. But although Earth is an incredible planet, it needs our help to remain that way. Waste, pollution, and deforestation are causing our planet and its living things to become very sick and not as healthy as it needs to be in order to survive. Because of this, plants and animals are becoming endangered and are at risk of going away forever. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of hopes and a world of fears. There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. It's a small world after all. 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 It's a small, small world. There is just one moon and one golden sun, and a smile means friendship to everyone. Though the mountains divide and the oceans are wide, it's a small world after all. 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 It's a small, small world. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. In 1970, Senator Gaylord Nelson founded Earth Day. On that special day, about 20 million Americans celebrated together. 30 years later, in 1990, that number went up to 200 million people across the entire world celebrating Earth Day. They planted trees, 
cleaned up the parks and beaches, and marched in the streets to bring awareness about this very, very important day. Let's read a book about a girl named Trina who forms an Earth Day club at her school with her friends. Gather round, my friends. It's story time. Earth Day Every Day, written by Lisa Ballard, illustrated by Xiao Xing. Chapter 1. What a mess! My name's Trina. I'm an Earthling. I live here on planet Earth. So do trees and bees and manatees. Unless you're from Mars, you're an Earthling too. People don't always take good care of our Earth home. We do things that hurt the Earth. We make the air dirty, we throw away too much, and we waste power. Mom says people should clean up their own mess. Earthlings made this Earth mess, so we Earthlings should fix it. It's a job for everyone. Chapter 2. Miss Big Mouth. <laughs> my brother calls me Miss Big Mouth, so I used my big mouth to help the Earth. Last week, I asked everyone I know to plan something for Earth Day. Today was finally the big day. Earth Day happens once a year on April 22nd. On that day, people everywhere remember to help the Earth. Earth Day is also a reminder to take care of Earth all year round. My teacher taught my class how to plant trees. Everyone got to help. Someday our trees will grow to be much taller than we are. They'll make good homes for birds. You can also plant special gardens to feed bees and butterflies. And trees and plants aren't just helpful to animals, they also clean the air we all breathe. My friends formed an Earth Day Club. We had our first meeting at lunch. Earth's problems means problems for animals too. Even my favorite tigers are having trouble. So our club decided to save money to help animals. People have formed many groups to help animals in trouble. The groups find ways to protect animals and the places they live. They study the animals to figure out new ways to help them. You can learn more about these groups on the internet. Ask your teacher or parent to help you to look. Chapter 3. My Family's Earth Day My family and neighbors had an Earth Day trade. Everybody brought stuff they don't need anymore. We traded for things we want. Mom wouldn't let me trade my brother. <laughs> So I traded an old puzzle for a soccer ball. It's better for the earth when we reuse old things. Reuse mean to use something again. Then it doesn't end up in the trash. You also don't need to buy new things. Trading and reusing helps the earth. Now my family is having a special earth night. We turned off the TV and the computer. That way, we don't use as much power. Instead, we're playing board games. My dog Daisy and I are winning. Using power can make the air dirty. So, turn off lights and machines whenever you can. Play outside instead of playing video games. Saving power helps save the earth. Maybe you can use your big mouth too. Together, we can talk to everyone about helping the Earth. We'll ask people to make it Earth Day every day. Then we can all find other ways to save the Earth tomorrow. The end. Earth Day every day. Clap for story time. In this story, we read about the words reduce, reuse, and recycle. Those are called the three R's. Can you repeat those R's after me? Reduce, reuse, recycle. One more time. 
reduce, reuse, and recycle. Good job. Reduce means to use less of something like water and electricity. By doing this, that means less greenhouse gases will get into the air. To reuse means to use something more than once before throwing it away. You can reuse materials like plastic bottles as bird feeders, tires, and even egg cartons. Recycle means to make new items out of old ones. Don't throw away anything that can be recycled, like paper, plastic, soda cans, cardboard, or glass. Instead, put them in the recycle bin. Isn't that easy? There is so much we can do to protect this planet that we all love and share. We all share the sky, the water, and this land. It belongs to me, it belongs to you, it belongs to everybody. So let's take care of it. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water. This land was made for you and me. La 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 la. How, my friends, that is it for us today. I hope that you had as much fun as I did. Today, we learned all about the importance of Earth Day. Together, we read the book Earth Day Every Day. We sang about our beautiful Earth and discovered ways to keep it healthy and protected. As a reminder, here are some ways that you can celebrate Earth Day. You can walk or ride your bike to school, you can do the three R's, which are what? Do you remember what the three R's are? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Good job, give yourself a hand clap. <laughs> you can also plant a tree or a flower, and the most simplest thing you can do is go outside into your neighborhood or your school and pick up any trash or garbage that you see on the ground. If we all can make a promise to do this all the time, we will have a healthy, happy planet for many, many years to come. Can I get a pinky promise? Let me see your pinky, pinky promise. <laughs> all right, we must act as if Earth Day is every day. Can you say that? Earth Day is every day one more time earth day is every day great job happy earth day my friends are you ready to sing our goodbye song great let's sing our goodbye song goodbye friends we had so much fun today clap your hands friends if you can't wait to join us again see you soon friends i'll leave you with a smile say farewell my friends we'll see you again next time we'll see you again next time remember to always find music in the noise to love yourself and i love you i'll see you next time on mr pete's playhouse bye hi my friends you can now get your very own copy of my brand new book, The Adventures of Kari, 
Kari's Big Splash. Get your book now at www.jpproductions.com. There's so many ways that you can keep up with me. You can find me on Amazon and Roku apps and follow me on my social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget, you can stream my songs on your favorite music streaming platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. And also, you can get your Mr. Pete's merch at www.jpeteproductions.com. See you soon!